So today we're going to learn to make a fresh corned beef and we're starting with the brine. And we add two quarts of water into the cup of salt that's already in the pan. Then we add the three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, the ginger, fresh ginger, just cubed up a little bit, a mirepoix, which is uh, carrots, celery, and onion, the cinnamon sticks, and the bay leaf. You can use fresh bay leaf if you want. That is the, um, the, corn, the cloves and the juniper berries and the allspice berries and the mustard seed. And everything goes right in. All we do is turn the heat on, just stir it up. It doesn't have to come to a boil. It's only to make sure that the sugar and the salt is melted. And then when it's all set, you cool it to room temperature. So, hi, we're back. The brine has been made, it's been cooled to room temperature, and now all we're going to do is put the brine on this fabulous piece of fresh beef brisket. It has not been corned, that's what this is for. What I like about this is you get to choose exactly what you're eating. You can see how great this product is. What I don't like about those bagged corned beefs, you cannot see what's in that bag. You, all you see is liquid and a piece of beef and who knows where it came from. This we know is the greatest product. Start with great, end with great. So now all you have to do is you take the brine, you pour it into a container that will keep the, yeah, make sure that you keep the meat submerged. That's the most important thing, is that the meat is submerged the whole time. And then all you do for the next 10 days to two weeks is you turn this with a fork or whatever once or twice a day, a couple times a day, keep it in the fridge, keep it submerged, a couple times a day turn it and in 10 to 14 days, St. Patrick's Day.